Hey there, my friend. I'm so glad you're joining me here for a slice and a piece of K. So excited to share with you my latest Portland layover haul and the best deal on this haul. My friend was from Walgreens. Mm hmm. I spotted this stainless steel facial roller. It was on clearance, my friend, for 75 cents. Yeah, you heard me, 75 cents. There were three on the shelf and I cleared the shelf. Um, hey, that's a nice gift to give to somebody, right? Because the regular price on this was $7.49. Now Walgreens, when they have clearance deals, sometimes they are just like hard to beat, like incredibly amazing deals. Um, and then I picked up this vitamin C shot. Uh, this was on sale for 99 cents. I thought I would try another shot. Um, this one is uh, 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C plus zinc, turmeric, ginger, echinacea, and uh, it's sugar-free for 99 cents, my friend. All right, that's Walgreens. Put that receipt away. Oh, where do I go next? Um, let's go to Safeway, my friend. So I picked up some smart food. This was on sale for $1.99. So I picked up the uh, smart food caramel cheddar mix. So basically like Chicago style popcorn, I think. Um, then I picked up the flaming hot white cheddar smart food. I was a limit of two for $1.99. So I picked up the two bags. Um, or it was $1.99 for Lay's, so I just picked up the smart food. Now, I picked up some, my friends, have you ever seen haagen Daz yogurt? So I picked up the vanilla and I picked up the strawberry. Not cheap, my friend, not cheap. I think these were, uh, what were they? Like a dollar, where did my receipt go? Um... They were $1.49, my friend. And then I also picked up this Icelandic Provisions Extra Creamy, whatever that is, but it is um, cold brew coffee flavor yogurt. So excited to try that. And this one was three for $5, so $1.66 each. And uh, that was all I picked up from Safeway. Um, let me see. Yep, that's all I picked up. Okay, put that away. Where do I go next? Okay, let's go to the Dollar Tree, my friend. So, my friends, I picked up this Dove body cream. It's for your face and the body. And this was $1.25. Yeah, dollar twenty-five. Um, then I picked up this dark chicken by Gritter. Critter. So this was a dollar twenty-five. So I picked up a couple of those. I picked up this Campbell's cooking sauce. This is creamy Cajun. That sounds yummy. This was a dollar twenty-five. Best before on this is. Um, I can't even see, I think um, it's coming to expiry soon. So can I cook that up? I also picked up this package of, sorry, my friends, I this iPhone camera, like you can't pause it. So I just have to kind of keep rolling because uh, you know, I don't know how to edit. Um, but I picked up this package of gum. This was $1.25. Don't know if you've seen that before. Camels, that's the brand name, Camels. And then I picked up these chopping mats, my friend. Yep, they sell them at home, but um, I haven't seen the color ones at home. So I don't know if you can see, I picked up the blue, I picked up a gray, and I picked up the green chopping mat. Now you don't need to use these as chopping mats, my friend. You can use these as liners for your fridge. Um, so yeah, I just, really like the colored one so I thought I would pick them up so I picked up six of those um, but I noticed my friend the white ones I think they're making them smaller because I saw a new packaging and uh, the, the white mats look a bit smaller 
So FYI, in case you want to stock up on them, I'd be checking out uh, Dollar Tree to see if they have the old stock at home. All right, where do I go next? Okay, Ross. Picked up one item on clearance from Ross. This was really cute. This was only $2.49. And this is T for one. So darn cute for $2.49. Nice to have my hand to give as a gift. So I just picked that one up for $2.49 in Portland, no tax. Okay, my friend, uh, let's go to Fred Meyer next, my friend. I went to Fred Meyer check out the clearance rack um and i spotted this red star this is active dry yeast and they were getting rid of it for a dollar 20 my friends and it's not even expiring till uh february of 2025 so i picked that up for dollar 20. i picked up this uh tahini sesame paste uh, this was reduced to clear for 225 i think that's a great deal because tahini is expensive what else did i pick up at fred meyer um <laughs> okay all this stuff is around here okay i picked up this crusties okay this is a pie crust mix for 73 cents and it says it makes four crust so for 73 cents yeah why not it's a name brand and uh so i thought that was a great deal for 73 cents was that all i picked up from fred meyer i think that was all i picked up from fred meyer my friend all right where do i go next okay i picked up only a couple of items from uh winco you know i love winco um, but again, I just really couldn't carry all too much. So I kind of limited myself to a couple of items. So I picked up these Daily's frozen cocktail. And all you do is you put it in the freezer. It says for like eight hours, simply freeze and enjoy. No blenders, no ice, no mess. Enjoy anywhere, anytime. These were $1.68. Um, oh, it contains alcohol, my friend. It's made with wine. Um, so I picked up this Bahama Mama frozen cocktail and I picked up this Jamaican Smile. So these were $1.68 and they are 295 mils. So I've never seen that before. I thought I would try that. What else did I pick up at Winco? Um, Oh my gosh. Okay, I, I don't know what else I picked up. At, oh! 45 cents, my friend, for these Quaker apple cinnamon rice cakes. Not that I'm into rice cakes, but for 45 cents? Okay, so I picked that up. And I think that was all I picked up. That was it from Winco, so I did not pick up very much. All right save the best for last you know i love the grocery outlet so i picked up some amazing deals at the grocery outlet so i picked up mayonnaise i needed mayo and this one it's light mayo but it'll do for now because it was only a dollar 99. you know how expensive mayo is at home now so i'll take this for a dollar 99 my friend um, I picked up this spice or wild style creamy chipotle kicker. This was a dollar forty nine. It says it's good. Um, tastes amazing with tacos, burgers, and fries. Never seen this brand before, but it was a dollar forty nine. All right, uh, this was twenty five cents, my friend. This is by McCormick's. And this is the citrus chili seasoning for 25 cents. Okay, just gotta screw the lid back on properly. So I thought that was a great deal for 25 cents. Um, I picked up some high chew. These were two for a dollar. So they picked up, I picked up the mango and the grape. 
Uh, so two for a dollar, that's a good deal. Okay, I picked up these ginger chews. These were 99 cents. Well, I don't know why I picked that up, but I did. All right. Um, what else do I have, my friend? Um, these are the best, best makeup uh, remover wipes. And um, they used to have the 30 count for 99 cents, but I haven't seen them lately. So they have the 60 count for 229, um, but you get this extra dispenser there. So I just picked up one more pack. Love these, so gentle on your skin. And my friends, it's made in Korea. Korean beauty. Very gentle, love it. All right, I picked up some limited edition Borsan. This is the black truffle and sea salt. This was $1.99, so I thought I would try that. Uh, this was 50 cents, my friend. The uh, Nestle Toe House. These are the Easter chocolate chip cookies. I thought I'm gonna try, you know, um, baking some in the air fryer just as a test. I mean, for 50 cents, my friend. Uh, how many cookies are you getting here? So I think it makes 24 cookies, but I'm not sure what size that would be. So that looked interesting for 50 cents. And I picked up the Cozy Shack. This uh, was uh, $1.49 for the Cozy Shack six pack of the chocolate pudding. So it's definitely more than $1.49 at home. And, um, oh, I think I forgot one yogurt. Yes, I did forget one yogurt from uh, Fred Meyer. I picked up the Chobani and this is the Greek yogurt, um, coffee and cream flavor so excited for that and actually i think i there's another one that i forgot where did that go um I, here it is i picked up also in fred meyer i picked up the tillamook stump town um this is the cold brew coffee yogurt so i don't drink a lot of coffee i don't drink coffee my friend um i make iced coffees but definitely love coffee desserts so kind of excited to try these um, coffee yogurts. And that, my friend, is my latest Portland layover haul. I think I covered everything. Um, so my friends, if you like this video, if you could click the thumbs up button below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button. I meet me back here for Monje Monday. Wanna watch me eat Wednesdays, Thursday, Thursday. Um, and yes, I'm doing Vlogmas in July. I know it's a little nuts, but hey, I hope you enjoy my content. And if you do, again, please hit the subscribe button. And my friends, Take care. Uh, stay safe as always. We will see you in the next video. A bientôt.